My mother and my dad and my sister all live on this street. Washington, D.C. has shaped much of Eugene Kinlow's family history. Now he's helping to reshape 200 years of his city's history. We want to be just like everybody else in, in America and have representation. People to represent our interests uh, fully on Capitol Hill. The Capitol may be visible from Kinlow's neighborhood, but in its corridors, his sole elected official can't even be called a representative. Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton can talk on the floor and vote in committee, but she can't vote on any final bill like the stimulus package. Not, says Norton, what the founding fathers intended. The framers went to war on the slogan of no taxation without representation. That's the city's unofficial motto, found even on license plates. Having somebody to represent you in the Congress is really like apple pie. It comes with being an American. D.C. residents are now close to getting their wish. Next week, that would give largely Democratic Washington a seat in the House in exchange for adding one to Republican-leaning Utah line for a seat based on population. But there are plenty of opponents. Article 1 of the Constitution says representatives are elected by the people of the several states. This bill is flagrantly unconstitutional. Unconstitutional, says lawyer Jonathan Turley, because D.C. is not a state. And he says the bill would set a dangerous precedent. If Congress can create new types of members, non-state members, they could give Puerto Rico 10 districts. They could give military installations votes. So a legal challenge is likely. Opponents believe their battle is almost won. Do you think the license plate is going to become a collector's item? You know, I hope so. Taxation with representation and maybe a new license plate. Thalia Assurance, CBS News, Washington.